Hi everyone and welcome to your daily tarot reading for Thursday the 1st of October 2020. Thank you for joining me. It's a pleasure to be with you today. I'm going to use the mystical tarot for this reading. Let's see what these cards have to say about the first day of the new month. I always love doing the readings for the first day. It gives you an insight into the day but it also says something about the month as a whole. Let's see what the case is for October 2020 and what energy you'll be working with. So in here, first card, we have the star. Lovely. Second card, the seven of pentacles. Okay. Finally, The fourth card of the Major Arcana, we've got the Emperor. Okay, so we've got some big, big, big themes here. Amazing. Two Major Arcana cards, so major fundamental life themes cropping up today and being part of your experience. And then a Minor Arcana card, so a temporary circumstance that you can use to your advantage. First of all, the star is... A card that describes a process of getting vulnerable, detoxing the negative, so you can really be yourself and you can let your true light shine. The star is really m meeting your maximum potential, choosing to be better, saying, you know what, life is a mixed bag, some things are negative, some things are good, and I'm going to deliberately choose to go through life vulnerable, because being vulnerable is strength. So if, and what I mean by that is if you're totally authentic, like I try to be online, you are totally authentic about who you are. You know, I'm a person, I have certain flaws, I have certain strengths, and this is who I am. And the reason that is strength is because if you put yourself out there authentically, what's and all, then you're not as much of a target because it's almost like getting ahead of things by taking ownership of them. And this woman doesn't just do that, but she also says, I'm not going to harp on about the negative stuff. I'm going to let that go. I'm not going to attach myself to things via resentments and hatred. And how could I be so wronged in justice? Instead, I'm going to try my best to let go of things. And if you've ever had a resentment, you'll know that sometimes that is really hard. By the way, when I resent someone, what I do is I close my eyes and I put this person up on a stage and I surround them in golden light. And I wish and pray every good thing for that person that they may have all their hopes and dreams come true. If this person has really wronged me and I resent them terribly and I can't pray for everything good and positive, then I ask for the willingness to pray for that person. And in my experience, it's never taken more than a couple of days for that person to then walk off the stage into the wings and out of my life and out of my resentment forever. Because... What is it they say in the in the, the rooms of recovery? Resentment is like drinking poison and waiting for the other person to die. So you have the opportunity to let things go, to be better, and to maximize your potential and to recognize the star that you are and also to recognize your strength and how authentic you are and that you are a decent person and you don't BS your way through life and steal and cheat and lie. You've got some integrity and you can go out in public naked symbolically okay well not yeah not literally but symbolically because you've got nothing to hide you've got no skeletons in the closet you've got no secrets that people can expose and that's why you're really really free and you can be the person you want the seven of pentacles is a young man who's worked very hard raking up all the plants and he has really accumulated a lot of wealth We've got this little goat peeking out from behind the bush. That's his ambition, his drive, his power to really work independently to get things done and then to reap the fruits of his labor and to be rewarded for what it is you're doing. So by being real and by being yourself and by saying, how can I not only let go of negative things, but how also can I be of service to other people and use my insights and my life and my experience to make things wonderful for myself as well as others, by simply putting that out there today, you will see a nice result come in. So 
by being in this frequency, which you're naturally connected today, you go about your business, you keep working as you usually would and exerting yourself in the way you usually would, you'll see a lot of positive results come in. And that really shows us that today the veil is kind of thin because what you put in, you get out. It's like the justice card. It's cause and effect. It's karma. If you make an effort, you get something out of it. And that is not always the case. Sometimes you can work your behind off and you don't see two cents for it. And sometimes you're just traipsing along, la-di-da, and people just shower you with abundance and prosperity. So today, not only are you strong and powerful and able to ram your way through obstacles and get things done, you're also able to sort the good from the bad, and you're able to receive a great reward for your work. Now, the rewards that you get, whether they're financial or social, well done, you're such an expert, we love you, um, or it's recognition or fame, or it's achieving a goal, getting certified, you know, the fruits of your labor. So studying really hard, writing exams, and then getting a degree at the end of it. Those benefits that you get, you need to reinvest as such because they're going to lead to the emperor who is king and king for his entire life. Longevity, security, and we've also got the Aries symbol. So not only are your benefits something that you can, and I need to find another word than reinvest, Let's say you make a lot of money. Yes, you can reinvest that in the business that actually made you the money. Fine. But let's say you do get the degree. Then it's about taking the degree and getting a job with it so that you are consistently employed. It's as simple as that. So this could even be today you finally see yourself as you really are. You can see what opportunities that provides for you, what choices you have. So let's say, oh my God, I've got an amazing voice. You can either go study music, you can become a singer, or you can do sound healing. And taking any one of those insights about yourself and doing something with them is going to lead you to be employed for a long time. So this is a day where people can find their life purpose when it comes to their work. The work that is totally aligned with who you are as an individual that fires you up continuously so you're not going to get bored of it. It benefits you so you're helping other people. You're being of service through working at what you're really gifted at. And that makes you an income which allows you to build a nice house for yourself, a really solid foundation on which you can build your house and you can put a nice throne in that house which you can sit on for the rest of your life. Anyone who's lost, anyone who doesn't know what to do with themselves, anyone who doesn't know who they are, this is a day to really look inside because you're not putting up walls to yourself. You're not kidding yourself. You're not deluded. You see yourself as you really are and how you can translate that into value. Any, all of us want to feel useful. All of us want to feel like we are good at something and that when we do that thing, that other people benefit from our work. And that's what you're able to discover about yourself you then have the fire and the energy and the drive to actually do something with it. And that is going to open a whole new world for you that you can engage with for a long, long, long time. It can also re represent something about your health. Meditating on why your stomach is always upset is going to give you a practical answer, which by then implementing that answer, so change your diet, you can eat differently and your stomach pain goes away. Remember that the pentacles represent money and work and your body, your physical health, your career and your everyday routine. So anything that you realize about those things within yourself, you then have the power to take that from inside of yourself to work with it and to manifest it in your real life. So it's about you you become aware of your life purpose and how to live your best life in this body that you've been given yeah because if you you know if you're like let's say in my body for me simple food works i i am um, do really well living off things like spaghetti and bread and eggs and um simple foods if i really complicate my diet it doesn't serve me so I have had the insight that simple food makes me feel good. So by eating that stuff, I feel great. If I complicate it by eating foie gras, 
then I'm not going to feel so great. And that, <laughs> so do you see how important the insight is? If I didn't know what worked for me and what didn't, then I'd eat any old rubbish and then I wouldn't get anything done. So these insights are the most valuable insights you can have. They're priceless because no one knows you like you. And the more you know about yourself, the more you know, and the more you can make your life amazing rather than fumbling around in the dark. Number wise, we've got 15, 16, 17, and another seven is 24, and four is 28. Two and eight is 10. 10 reduces to one in numerology, and one is the pioneer, one's the boss, the ram, the person in the limelight, the king, the emperor, number one. It's the person in charge, the leader. So yes, you are the leader because you're getting all these amazing insights. So you're the leader internally, and by grabbing those insights and doing something with them, you become the leader in the real world because you get the job as a dentist or you start becoming a vegan or you um, redecorate your place because you realize that the color yellow really suits you and you want to paint your living room yellow. Any of those things that are under the umbrella of pentacles are yours to tweak and change and to really make your own so that your life looks sunny and bright and fabulous. Have an amazing day. If you'd like a personal reading with me, please get in touch by my website, gregoryscott.com. Oh, by the way, and because this is for the 1st of October, you have the ability to really get real with yourself and get these insights and implement them in your life all month. I think that's the gift of October. So yeah, please do get in touch. I use astrology, tarot, and numerology in my personal readings. The astrology chart I draw up by using your place of birth, date of birth, and time of birth. If you don't have the time of birth, then order a chart rectification with me, please. That's a process where you send me 10 or more life events and I work out your time of birth. Once I have all three of those pieces of info, place, date, and time of birth, then I'm able to draw up a snapshot of this guy at the moment you were born. And that tells me everything about you, your life purpose, your vocational aptitudes, money, love, romance, where to live, how to live, what to eat, um, any questions you've got. I can answer by looking at that chart. So if you're interested, then do get in touch via the website. Yeah, if you're at a crossroads and you have some decisions to make and you want to talk them over with someone, then I am available via gregoryscott.com. Have an amazing day. If you'd like this video, then give it a thumbs up. Please hit subscribe and share the video online. And I'll speak to you tomorrow.